Foster here from netcodeguides.com doing a demo review here for Dez on his DE Cash matchmaking game. Um, before I get into this, I want to let everybody know that we are doing um, our weekly Play With The Pros community night tonight. Um, I will put the Discord server information in the description below, so hopefully to see you guys all there. Um, it's going to be starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, usually what we do is Days and I, we basically just do 10 mans with the premium members. Um, you jump in the Discord server. It's me and four of the players versus Days and four of the players. And we play a few 10 mans and then usually Days will go off and stream. And then we'll play some pugs. And it's basically a very, it's, it's really focused around instructional Counter-Strike. We don't just play games. We try to just get people on the right track of, um, you know, calling things. Uh, being in the right setups, being in the right um, positions to get trade frags, you know, just getting people into the habit of doing these things. Um, and it's, like I said, just very focused around instructional gameplay. We're not just messing around in servers. Um, the last time, uh, or last Wednesday, Days and I played, we played two 10 mans basically. Um, I won, or no, we only played one 10 man, then we played a pug. It was the 10 man went into overtime, um, day's team versus my team. So they're very e even, evenly based uh, 10 mans, you know, and um, it's a lot of fun and it's a great experience for a lot of lower tier players. So, I mean, even, you know, even, even uh, seasoned CS players have a lot of fun and things. So, anyway, um, jump into that tonight, guys, and see you guys there. And we're going to get into this demo review now. So, here we are on the pistol round with Dez. And he's not bought anything. Um, this is something we don't really recommend. Uh, you do this the next round as well. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure what your your logic is for the economy in this game, but hopefully by the end of this demo review, you will have a great understanding. So you guys are in a four on two situation there, or four on three situation. Uh, you you made it a three on two, and then you peeked this guy at spawn, and got your teammate into another one-on-one -on -one situation when you were up in a two-on-one -on -one situation so with that said we're gonna let this round play out he wins the round thug life hits a really hard shot on your teammate and gets a 3k and wins the round so with that said you need to be buying something on pistol round armor um smokes or a smoke and a flash and a grenade or two flashes and a smoke whatever you want anything would have helped you in that situation there if you had a smoke you could have just smoked that dude off at spawn and you guys could have crossfired the site. If you had a flash, you could have flashed that dude, fell back to checkers, played a crossfire on site. There's there's never a situation in Counter-Strike where you don't buy anything on pistol rounds. Um, when you don't have armor, you get aim punched, you're at an instant loss. Um, and again, like I said here, you didn't you didn't buy anything as well. And there, there's never a reason not to buy something. Now, here we are in the second round. You guys got bombed down, and you guys basically killed everybody minus one player. So that means you guys have a decent amount of money. And you can see some of your teammates bought Tech Nines. And you guys are in a great position here. Three on three, planting the bomb. And you go for this dude's gun, and you get free frag. Now, say you had armor and a Tech Nine right there. You would not have gone for that gun. You would have been in the site. You guys would have cross-fired these two dudes that were coming up from truck. And, you know, who knows what happened with the guy with the A main flank. But... You have to learn the economy of this game. You 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 win pistol round, you buy the next. You always buy pistol round. You buy you you buy on pistol round. You get the bomb down. You buy something the next round. Tech nine armor. Um, even if you win or you don't win, then that round you will just do a light by the next round and save. I mean, do a light light by the next round and then full buy the next round. So you have to you have to get this this understanding of the economy through this game and you'll actually notice you're going to get into a lot of situations the rest of this demo review where you have all kinds of money and you don't do anything with it and i'm not saying that's why you guys you guys lose this match but if you you know had guns or your or you bought your teammates guns you guys would have been in a lot better situation to win a lot of these rounds so anyway we're going to jump into the next round here all right so you guys won one and then you guys lost the next round so now you guys are in a uh, they bought some tech nines and things like that. And one person's got armor, um, and an AK and you have $5,700 here. So at this point you could like 
buy tech nine armor and a few nades and you'll be totally fine to buy the next round or you could even buy like a galil and like chest armor and be fine to buy the next round you could buy you could you could literally buy anything you want right now and you would be fine to buy the next round and you don't buy anything you don't even drop your teammate well i guess they all have tech nines but you, everybody on your teammate has on your team has something and you have nothing you have a glock and <laughs> you just you just really got to you really got to get into the habit of paying attention to the money utilizing your money um, you know, you're pretty much just running around because you know you have a Glock, so you're really not doing anything. Uh, you weren't baiting for your teammates. I mean, you baited for them a little bit there, but you weren't baiting for your teammates in spots that are impact spots in this round. And they end up just lurking around the map, picking your teammates off one by one. But you really got to buy stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it would have helped too much in this round, you know, but hindsight's 2020. With that said, you, you still have to buy stuff. So you're, don't just, you're not just turtling up in positions like this with a Glock, not contributing to the round. All right, so these guys are kind of just curb stomping you guys. I'm not sure if somebody's uh, smurfing or something, but they're kind of just owning you guys. Now, I like this play. I like that you are utilizing one of the plays that we have a video about, uh, basically how to take B by yourself. Um, it's a great play. You threw the smoke at, a at B main. There was already one there, so I'm not really sure if yours was necessary. Um, actually it wasn't and then you go to throw this Molotov now this is a good Molotov you're gonna throw it at the guy at headshot but as you can see there's a bad guy there at spawn and if you go and watch the video again you will specifically hear me say you don't do this play until the B main smoke is gone and there's a few reasons that you do this you, there's a there's a reason or there's basically only one reason that you would wait until that smoke is gone and the reason that you would wait for that smoke to disappear is so that this guy right here cannot just full peek you at checkers if that smoke is gone he cannot be in that spot because there could potentially be a guy at b main um even the guy at upper he can't leave he can't be there because uh, he could be there but he will be potentially in a gunfight and that will take their attention off of you and checkers and the guys at b main but instead you go to throw the molotov he peeks out because it's fully smoked off People are the only way for him to be worried about somebody there is if they push through the smoke obviously they didn't and he just has a free frag on you so make sure you you add that type of uh you know mentality to your gameplay you you know you don't want to be smoke you don't want to be doing that and then going and throwing the molotov before the smoke is down because you're going to have all of the bad guys attention once that smoke is down then there's a potential for people to be in two spots b main as well as checkers and you're not going to have all of the people's attention so Anyway, we're going to jump in the next round here. All right. So another example of the bad buy. So you had 7,300 and you bought P250 head armor. $7,300, you could have bought an op and still bought. You could have glass cannoned and still bought an entire set of stuff the next round. Even if you lost this round, you, you got to, I don't know what your point is of, of banking all this money. But you have to start utilizing your money. Like, it's just part of the game. Now, this is where we get into another sticky situation. So you're boosting your teammate up here with the op, right? He gets a kill. Um, you guys are in a great situation, a three on four. You guys have the plant. Time's ticking down. You're in a pretty good spot. He misses a few shots here. Your teammate at A main gets flanked. And your teammate up top, your teammate that you're boosted, dies. So... They know that if he's there, they know that somebody's boosting him. So there's a 100% chance that they, know, that they know you're here. There's no chance that they don't know you're here. And you're, you're trying to hide at this point. You, you, weren't, you weren't peeking and shooting them as they're running up to the site. And these dudes just basically run up on you. And he free frags you. Now, you have to know that when you're boosting somebody, it takes two people to do that. So they know that there's two people there. You weren't gonna be, you weren't gonna surprise anybody by hiding in that spot because they know you're there. Now, if they didn't know you were there, you can sometimes play that surprise spot. But quad is generally a spot that people go to because you can play ring around the rosy. You have tons of cover. They have to push you to kill you, and you have, you know, it, it's a great position. So it's generally a, it's something that people check, and they're hundred percent gonna check it, especially when somebody's been boosted there. So. Keep that in mind, and we're going to jump in the next round here. All right, so this is actually the last round of this demo review that I'm going to talk about. Um, you guys strung a few rounds together. 
brought it back a little bit 12-7 they kind of just curb stomped you guys on their ct side and they are on an eco here so you guys should know that they're going to be on an eco you've got four rounds in a row they kind of they could force by here but this is where the mistakes are made so two different people were shooting at you at that same time um you could hear two tech nines going off and this is something that we try to get people in the lower ranks to 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 try and not do so we're gonna see what happens here you know that there's two people rushing you and you're kind of fumbling about with your nades here and you basically just get caught out with the flash out and you're not doing anything so one thing that we try to get people in the lower levels to do is to just not mess around with your your smokes and your flashes and your nades especially when you're under pressure because you don't have the the fluid game mechanics and nade mechanics to get it out quickly and it got you killed if you're ever in a situation where you're you know getting pushed or something like this or you're in a 1v1 people try to get too tricky with their flashes and smokes because they watch the pros do it and then they die just turn around you know you could have just ran it you could have ran to the same spot or when they were shooting at you just went right here and just peeked out and just mowed like three of them down or fallen back here and just stood here with your rifle and just bang on that dude that's gonna run through run into checkers from b main um it, you know i understand your logic you were gonna flash them and you know shoot them you knew they were on a nico whatever but you didn't have the game mechanics to get the flash out quickly enough drop it and then peek with it and and kill people so it's just it's it it it's again flashes and nades and, and utilizing them quickly and on time is something you're going to have to learn but at this kind of level i think you should focus more on on getting the gunfire back and getting your movement good enough so that you can get yourself into these positions to get these kills and eventually get your you know your your quick nades and flashes off so that's going to conclude the demo review i just want to recap a few things here um you got it. You got to learn the economy of the game. You need to spend money. There's no reason to save money in this game. If you can buy, and your teammates can buy, you need to use your money. Um, if you don't want to use it, buy your teammates guns. Make so make it make it so that they all buy armor, and you're gonna drop them tech nine so that you can try and win these rounds. There's no reason for you to be your teammates to be on an eco, and you have seven thousand three hundred dollars like that. That should like never happen. Um, so get the economy down. Um, one thing that I noticed a lot on your CT side is, or sorry, your T side is you were in a lot of non-impact spots. You went door a lot, um, and, and a lot of a door, door is not a non-impact spot, but the way that you were playing, it was a non-impact spot. Your teammates were throwing stuff at, at, at a main and getting this guy's attention and getting this guy's attention. And you just hid inside of door. You were really quiet. And I'm not sure if you were trying to like lurk or whatever, but if you're there and there's only one of your teammates at a main you need to be opening the door so that the, the a site guys get your they're looking at you and you get their attention then he could peek out and potentially kill them there were just a lot of situations where you were just in a non-impact spot so the economy get yourself into more impact spots and ultimately be closer to teammates to trade frag uh, that was another thing that you were doing that was that was stopping you um or your team from winning these rounds but ultimately i think these guys are just a little bit better than you guys and they kind of just raped you guys on ct side and um mess around a little bit on their t side so anyway that's going to conclude this demo review des i hope you guys enjoyed the demo review make sure to join our play with the pros night tonight and i will see you guys tonight and we'll get some games on anyway that was uh this is casey foster of neko guides see you guys later